unboxing and first impressions from Back or Beyond Tales of Blood and Salt, a game from Fabled Games, a brand new game designed by Nick Gnotis and Argiris Punguras. This is a designer duo behind Darkest Dungeon, a brand new game with a lot of positive feedback so far from players who tried it. And uh, this is the first game from Fabled Games, so very much looking forward to check what uh, this um, uh, new publisher is going to offer. First of all, this is a game for 2 to 4 players that takes around 60 to 120 minutes, ages 14 and up, and uh, it's a game that it falls under the categories of adventure games, fantasy with pirate theme. Uh, the game has a, a plethora of uh, mechanisms that uh, are happening during gameplay, and uh, these are no other than uh, dice rolling, dice cycle resolution, end game bonuses, events, income, market, selection order bid. It has take uh, that element, it has worker placement with different worker types and um, lots of different things as well as uh, car driven uh, battles. So, uh, let's uh, dive into the prototype. Be aware that this is a work in progress. This is still a prototype. Uh, I'm just uh, happy to see that publishers nowadays uh, really do try to take care of their prototypes as much as possible, but still this is far from uh, the final production uh, uh, a sample, this is going to be changed pros uh, possibly in terms of sizes of components. Uh, a lot of art uh, is still pending because uh, it's in progress as we speak from what I hear. And uh, there's going to be a lot of information throughout the campaign page uh, of the crowdfunding campaign, pa uh, campaign page, which I'm going to add in the link of the description below. This is just focusing, uh, this video is just focusing on the components, so uh, check them out together with me as uh, I'm opening for the first time this box. And we're going to come back with a separate how to play review video where I, after I had a, a few sessions with the game, I'm going to share my honest opinion about how it feels playing the game, uh, what, are, uh, what are the pros and uh, the highlights that make it stand out from the rest, if any, and uh, discuss about uh, also how to play, put timestamps and put explain the rules of the game. So this is again prototype as you can see. So let's dive in and open uh, the box together. Uh, nice looking cover, by the way. It gives immediately the vibe of the pirate game, which I think is what uh, uh, the uh, publisher is intending to do. Some information from my uh, uh, fabled games. This is intended for me, so that's why I'm taking it out. I don't know if it has any confidential information, in terms of addresses, I mean, and stuff like that. Probably not, but anyway. Some uh, uh, information about uh, when the crowdfunding is going to occur. It's going to be on the 28th of February. That's good. Um, some additional information about how to contact the publisher and some more information, yeah, highlighting exactly what I said, uh, linked with the fact that the game is a prototype, so be aware that it's a work in progress. But let's uh, discover together how this prototype looks like. First of all, uh, we have the uh, main board, which looks really nice, by the way. It looks like a pirate island with different locations. Uh, the council hall, the back alley, lots of dirty business probably going on there, uh, the market, the docks, where uh, uh, all pirate vessels uh, dock, the tavern, a lot of drinking there I suppose, and treasure coast, as well as harbour, and some trucks and slots around the board. Okay, this looks nice. Uh, I like what I see, uh, gives a, a good vibe so far so let's uh, then check the uh this is a game board again and let's check the player boards uh, in this game as i mentioned uh, you're going to be a captain of a pirate ship so just to give you a bit of uh, insight about uh, the theme of the game um, deep within the vast blue and gray of the sea and the endless storm lies a long forgotten land stories tell a safe passage within the roaring belly of the ocean. Legends tell that hiding behind rocks, clouds and unforgiving force of the sea lies an island, an island pirates call home, a place where dreaded captains spend their down uh, time trading in the marketplace, drinking spiced rum, mm, I want to try that one, in the tavern, testing their reputation at the council hall or mingling in mischief in the back alley. Seek infamy and become the most dreaded pirate captain? Yeah. Sounds about right. Create a powerful ship by carefully selecting and managing your crew. Do battle and plunder ships uh, full of loot and make a fortune that no living man has ever made. And when you're tired, come back to the only land you feel 
safe for you to rest and get ready for your next adventure. What treasures will you find? How many ships you'll capture? Will your crew look like uh, up to you or start a mutiny? Will the sound of your name bring fear? There's only one way to find out. So embark and live a pirate life and get ready to sail to back or beyond. Okay, sounds pretty, pretty interesting. Uh, the game um, is going to be explained as a separate video, as I mentioned. I hear that it has a lot of engine building, has a lot of uh, uh, managing your ship, your crew, uh, your resources, making worker placement, uh, making tough choices, and uh, I heard it's a fun gameplay that comes with this one, so really much looking forward to discover it. So these are the player boards. As you can see, we have four player boards which are colored with slots for the crew members, I suppose, the different tracks. Uh, we're going to explain them later. Here is a portrait that of the captain that goes uh, in this spot, these are boards again, uh, and uh, uh, we're going to discuss a bit on the anatomy of the boards, but I'm not going to spend time now with uh, this, uh, I'm just mainly going to focus on the uh, specific item breakdown and component breakdown, so that we can uh, uh, do that on the next video, we're going to uh, focus also on the components of the game. So, one, this is a blue shark, this is a black manta, Nice. This is a red dragon. But these are the names of uh, the vessels. And this is a setting sun. And how appealing this is. Orange. Yeah, makes sense. Okay, so uh, four player boards, one for each player. Okay. So I'm going to put those to the side so they don't uh, mess with the rest of the components. We have dice, okay, so this is prototype, so it's uh, dice with stickers. Uh, so we have to follow the campaign to see how the, these dice are going to look like. We're going to have six boarding dice. And we're going to have, yeah, these are the boarding dice. Again, this is prototype, so be aware that uh, this is just a work in progress, but these are prototype dice. So these are the boarding dice that you have here and these are the uh, naval dice that you have here which have black backgrounds Oops, and this one fired, the cannon fired <laughs> and uh, the different faces of course. Okay, cool. Then we have 60 time tokens, 15 per player color. Okay. Let's see those. Uh, these are tokens that depict the player color in the background and a sunglass. Okay. And you have uh, 15 in each of the player colors, the four player colors. Okay. We have our captains. We have four captains, the black beard. The art is really nice. It certainly gives a pirate vibe for sure. Mary Reed, Mary Reed, sorry, uh, Anne Bonnie, and Marie Crichet, if I'm pronouncing right. I should do my homework. These most probably are well known pirates. I only know Blackbird, to be honest. So, okay, the art looks nice. This is the back of the captain. Yeah, so it says captain on the back. And it has the stats. I think these are the starting resources, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the ability and uh, again this is going to go uh, on your player board on the portrait so you have your starting abilities and your um, your starting resources sorry and your abilities uh, as well okay cool then we have some markers I think they're going to be 16 per uh, uh, sorry, uh, 16 tracker, 16 uh, discs per player on the player color. Here I only have the red one to show you for the moment. Uh, these are going to be used. Um, actually, these are all red, and I believe this should be in four different colors. So maybe this is wrong with the prototype because there are 16 trackers overall, four per player color, and they use them for hull, sails, dread, and morale. So you have hull here, sails, dread, and morale. Okay, these are the, let's say, resources of the game. Uh, so most probably the, the, the manufacturing of the prototype did a mistake. They need to be on different colors. Okay, then we have 
for Pirate Captain Meeples. Again, these are simple Meeple tokens, but I believe uh, from the preview I've seen and the first images that they released, uh, they're going to be silk printed and uh, they're going to be custom shaped or maybe unlocked, I don't know. Follow, we'll have to follow the campaign and D4. And those tokens, these are the reputation markers, one per player color. Also, this is uh, the first player token. These are going to be circular and this is going to be at least in the rule book. This is how they, they seem uh, custom shaped for the first player token. Of course, again, these are prototypes here, so you can understand that these are rough and an approximation of what is going to be. Uh, this is just work in progress, as mentioned. Then we have uh, five uh, location tokens. Again, this should be circular, if I'm not mistaken. And these are showing the different letters A, B, C, D, E. Okay, uh, matching the location, the council hall, for example, the market, the back alley, the docks. And the last one is the tavern, if I'm not mistaken here. Yeah. Okay. And there is also this one, which is the round tracker for tracking the rounds, which I do believe they should be around here because we have errors, error one, error two, and error three, if I remember correctly. I will do my homework and read carefully the rulebook, don't worry, so the how to play um, review video will be very, very detailed for sure. Okay, so I have four decks of cards next to me. I'm going to share with you how they look like. Again, this is a work in progress, keep that in mind. But I want to show you the mass, the vast majority, uh, mass of uh, tokens that we have here in this game. And again, these are tokens that are going to be circular around, if I'm not mistaken. I do prefer that they are around, so I hope they go with that. These are either Dublons, 70 Dublon tokens on a denomination of 1, 5 and 10. Okay. Would be good if they're different sizes, just an advice to the publisher and uh, not just a, a number on them to make sure that uh, you can see them apart. I need to separate them for sure. Uh, but we also have uh, 45 food tokens in denomination of 1, 5 and 10. These are the fish. Yeah, we pirates, we eat fish. Makes sense. Okay, so 1 or 10 fish. Okay, the resource of the game. We also have rum. Of course we drink rum. We're pirates. What did you think? The nominations of 1 and 5 and we have 35 rum tokens. Again, these are going to be circular. I think uh, this concludes. We have also 15 wound tokens. These are the wound tokens. They look like wound for sure. And these are the exhaustion tokens which have a dizzy skull pirate. Okay, so then the all of these are there, there are quite a few so i'm not going i'm going to uh, clean them up later when i do my just to reveal the art because i think i like the the, the way this uh, pirate island looks like but a ton of uh, tokens okay so now let's focus on the cards the game comes with a lot of cards. There are 14 treasure cards, 37 council uh, request cards, 19 sabotage cards, 19 event cards, 30 trade ship cards, and 27 crew cards, as well as 8 starting crew cards. Okay, so let's take everything out of the zip lock baggies. And let's see, first of all, the uh, 37 council request uh, cards. These have this back. Again, I like the way there is a dark, uh, I don't know, uh, shade or something uh, on, on this. It's uh, they are pirates. They need to be dread. Okay, so it's I like when I see pirate games with uh, dark color or dark aesthetics. Uh, they shouldn't be I don't know vibra uh, vibrant, vibrant, uh, uh, beautiful colors because they are pirates. All right. So okay, these are the different um, council request uh, cards. Again, there is a big variety of cards. Uh, I know for sure that they're working a lot on the on the art, so the art is not final. The art is going to change on a lot of the cards, so you have to follow together with me. Uh, the crowdfunding page 
for details and updates because this is going to be the latest and I think they're going to most probably unlock a lot of uh, stretch goals if I foresee right. So these are the cancel request cards, 37 um, in total. Okay, so let's put them there. Then we have 30 trade uh, ships. So 30 trade ships, uh, which are uh, cards with different stats, as you can see, different name and different values. Okay, and these uh, are broken down in eras, era three, era one, and era two, as you can see. So this is nice because uh, they're going to progress down the road. So these are mixed, I need to sort out the decks, but just to show you a bit of the variety, different names, Santa Clara, the Avenger, St. George, the Rakish, the Celtic Cross, etc. It would be interesting to know, and maybe ask the publisher, if these are real names of pirate ships, or at least vessels. Uh, because they sound like it. That would be really cool. Here you can see also uh, the era, or the age, how it's called, I don't remember. But there is a variety of uh, trade ships, and they all form up the deck on the three different levels, let's say. So let's put those here as well. We have the sabotage cards. These are 19 cards. They say sabotage and they have a, a nice stabbing a hand. So cool on the back. Uh, one crew member minus uh, morale minus uh, sales or how, you know, things that are happening via sabotage. I'm supposing this is a, a part of the interaction between players messing up with the other players. So this is cool. We are pirates. Okay. We're not honored. <laughs> Uh, captains or something. So, maybe we are, I don't know. The event cards. These are the event cards, the 19 event cards. They have nice art. And uh, the different things like no wind, joyful day, injured crew. A variety of things that you would expect from uh, an event deck. We have uh, 15 treasure cards. Yeah, this is the back of the treasure card. They have various things again that you can Again, so all these are benefits and treasure. Then we have crew cards. This is the back of the crew card. And this game uh, really does a lot about managing and having uh, the best crew and uh, giving you all these abilities so that you can uh, work with them. Yeah, so, and options. So, again, you see the same portrait here, but this is, I believe this is going to change. It's going to be, if I'm not mistaken, I read it somewhere, one different portrait per each card. So they are going to have unique art pieces, which is really cool. Okay, so all these are going to be very, very unique uh, crew members. And again, they're going to be uh, coming on your various locations or your vessel, together with, let's say, your captain forming your uh, your crew. Last but not least, we have eight uh, starting crew cards, two per player, two red, two blue, two uh, yellow and two black. Yeah, and these are the starting, again, crew members, which I'm assuming they are pretty weak and you need to uh, get better and stronger crew members. So, there you have it. These are all the components of uh, Back or Beyond, Tales of Blood and Salt. I like pirate themed games. I like, uh, for sure, uh, worker placement with different type of workers. Uh, here it's a lot of uh, resource management and options and uh, manipulation and uh, a lot of strategy going on in this game. So I'm really looking forward to give this one a try. Uh, so stay tuned for more material that is going to come up. Uh, we're going to make more content about the game, uh, how to play review a video is going to come and follow uh, so that you can learn more about how the game plays and our impressions about Baku Beyond Tales of Blood and Salt. So, 